Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials and today I will show you how to create 3D abstract motion backgrounds in Adobe After Effects using Stardust. So create your composition and let's get started. So after creating your composition and as you see here on my account I have Stardust applied to this layer and a path layer here. So basically just masks here two circles as you can see so there is a gap between the two and so let's go back to stardust here and we have emitter and particle nodes so right here going for emitting ones and particle per second just one and zero out the speed we need more life so we can see our particle so let's go for 20 seconds so now you can see our particle here Let's go for five on this size. And I'm going to add a model and material node here. Let's connect the two here and use this with particle node. So right here on particles, we're going to switch to model and basically you can't see anything because we need to assign here which model source we want to use. So we're going for text and a mask. And right here, extrude layer, we're going to choose path one. So we can see our circle there. So let's create a new camera here. And let's switch to our camera and let's zoom out these. So you can see our circle is right there. So the whole idea here is to replicate these circle. And of course we need replica. So we can use it with particle nodes. So let's connect these and on replica here we have replicates so let's go for 50 and offset that on the z by 50 as well so basically you can see how depth changed so let's go on top to see what's going on so if we disable these you can see we got depth let's add few lights here let's add ambient light go for 50 for now and plot light maybe 100 so for now let's go back to our camera here and so what i'm going to do here basically on the replica here we have few things to do we have a long path properties so we have size here so i'm going to just change the size here so you can see what's going on there and if we switch that to the top, you can see how the shape is changed there. So let's go for something really uh, bezier there to make these softer. So I'm going to just change these manually here. Something like that. You can adjust these later. So right here, you can see what's going on. So let's zoom these and in the, maybe the replicates here just 30 and we can of course get these offset right there so just keep it as it is for now so now let's just zoom these in so basically now it become like we have a tunnel on these replicate things so let's go back to our model here and we have a few properties here on extrude properties. We have extrude, bevel, and so on. So we can change bevel stuff here. Very straightforward with these just to change the look of these. But right here we have edges and default. So basically that change how that looks. And basically on path sample, we can make these a perfect circle by adding more samples or change these look you can see it just changing instead of creating a new mask we can just use these path samples and it's going to change how these looks so of course on the background we have transparency there so i'm just going to add another model here and basically i'm going to use for the second one a plane here so primitive and use plane and just go for a really big one 5000 on x and y and on model properties i'm going to push these on the z 
So by 5,000. So we have it on the back right there and it cover a little bit of these uh, sides of the comp. So for now, we have things look pretty cool. We can animate the camera, but that's not all. So we need to figure out how we can change uh, the color of these model here. Because we have only one particle and we have replicated this particle, which is uh, getting sourced from this model. So right here on replica, as you can see here now, we can change size from here and we don't need to change opacity because Changing opacity just going to just take opacity at once. It's not like when you use um, with the particle shape. So with the model, that's different. So right here we have these colors. So we can change or choose color from here. Apply that and I'm going to change these color mix. So let's zero these out. So you can see now we have a nice shade in here with these and of course let's go back to our light here point light and center these and you can see now how beautiful things start looking with these light so we can play with the light here and it start get some really nice effect there so first here you can see we don't have any variation on these we just have a solid look for these and we want to add few animation to these so I'm going to use turbulence node and just adding that and go for position let's go for 200 and 500 on noise you can see now we're just going to randomly um, affect that we can go for fractal speed if we want some animation going on uh, basically that's not what we want here in this case so basically what we want here to change these to axis and then go for axis z so we can have some variations in animations on the z axis right there which is pretty cool as you can see here let's zoom these a little bit and let's add material node and connect that to this plane so on material for the plane here go to diffuse zero out these color from particle and just pick a color here for these plane here so you can see for now we have some really nice animation so let's preview and see how this looks like So as you can see, this look pretty cool, but we need to do a few things to make it look really nice and interesting. So the first thing here you will get in mind is adding more lights here. So let's do that. Just add a new light and make this spotlight here and hit OK. So let's center these on our comp here. So you can see we got some really nice highlights. Maybe you can add more highlights right there 500 so you can see we got really nice highlights as you can see but before that let's add more replicate here so let's switch to the top view here and then just get more replicates here and you can see how the shape change and we get more depth and that's really nice you can see now the difference if we go back to 30. So now it looks really cool. And let's change here the color as well. I'm just going for black and white. So we can see the light effect we're going to do here. So maybe we have these uh, green. So let's just make it white. So you can see the black and white look we just get very nice and also on model here um i want to add edge width so 50 right there and i don't want any uh, bevel presets there so just going for that so you can see adding these how we just move the camera away so everything is related here so we can just zoom these in a little bit now let's switch to half to make it a little bit faster and 
material, make it white here for that background. And we want to add more lights here. So I'm going to keep these at 40 and duplicate this light hit position. Maybe we want this one to be at zero for now. And let's change color to something bluish here. And for this one, maybe minus 2000. Let's change color to red and intensity to crank up that to 5000. So you can see now we got really nice look here. So let's push this back even more. So you get the idea of how the look and the feel of these same background change by just changing lights and maybe bevel and other things here. Uh, we can duplicate another one like here and maybe this one. Keep it the same. And let's switch to the top here. So let's see our lights. Maybe this one we can put it right at the end of this shape here. You can see how the lights positions right there. So you get the idea here. And the spotlight you can uh, see there, it, it has also direction right there, which you can actually um, change right there. So orientation and, and so on. So we can see how things look some really nice highlights right there. If you want to play with lights to get some really nice variations right there. And you can see just with black and white recoloring the scene just with the After Effects light, which make things very interesting. Um, now, if you change colors here for these replica, it's going to mix with these lights. Let's go, for example, with this one. And you can see how it makes right there. So I'm just going to keep it as it is. And so you can now just play with camera animation here. So maybe just create these orbit null here. Hit P for position. And maybe rotation on this Z here. Let's keep that to half. And just add a keyframe to Z and position here. So maybe start these a little bit far away and start zooming these in. Maybe something like that. Maybe 180 and zoom these in. Just very, very simple animation here. Just so you can see what's going on. So I think we have these on white. Okay, so let's preview and see how this looks like. Okay, so you can see how the animation, maybe it's a little bit fast, but I think you get the idea. So we can do a lot of things here. So basically now, I'm just going to show you some tips and tricks very quickly here. So here is the same example animation. So right here, just have the look here changing the look and the feel for this. And I want to show you something that's very important here. Uh, you may have some problems with lighting that creates here. So right here in this example, it shows some problems, right? These uh, light, you can see here, some of these black dots. To fix that, basically, all you need to do here is using Minimax here. So I'm just going to turn that on using Minimax here. Just a few uh, color, lumetri color, change the fill and Minimax set that to maximum, just one radius pixel right there to fix if there is any kind of problems there. And right here you can see we have this kind of tunnel camera animation, very straightforward here. Just animation here, which is really nice and very straightforward. Same setup here, except here you can have a deform as well as a secondary animation with it. So this deform basically, it deform the shape or the model here, but you are just using transform 
on this deform and add kind of secondary animation here. So very straightforward. If you want to have some secondary animation with the camera right there. So if we disable that, you can see what we have there. So basically just zoom in and out at the same time. And you can see on this example as well, same setup here, just different path or the same path basically here. Everything is the same. And on model node, you can basically change to different path if you want or just select that one here. You can now make perfect circle and so on. Basically, the second one is just, uh, it's not circle. So path samples work only when you have circle shape. So if you have another shape, it's not going to give you any effect. So if you have path, you select that, which is one. Now you can make these perfect circle or make it a different shape. Otherwise, you can just create your shape you want to use. And let's preview this example here. So you can see there is a really nice looping animation here and this technique just using the model, but you can see in this one, let's see which path we used here. So three and right here we have a mask here. If we reveal here, you can see the whole idea here is just create two and then uh, animate these. So I'm going to show you here very clear. How is that set up? So for example, this one here, we have these animations of these masks. So just these two, you can see we have smaller and getting bigger right there. And then just duplicate these two yellow and red and then stagger them by 10 frames. So you can see we have all these ones here and then um, the loop started at 10. We have a nice loop in here for the second half, which you can use in these uh, model here. And that's going to give us this really nice animation. And right here, you can now just change the samples and it's going to give us that look we're looking for, which is really nice here. So we can do everything else here also change the camera and so on. So here we have these um, looping rippling circle line. Basically the same technique here. All we have here is this path animation here, um, creating these looping animation here. So you can either create a mask animation or just use this technique here which we have um, using a replica node and just one path without any animation on it so basically you can use material um, node to create really cool looking uh, materials for this model so for example this one is just um, creating this emissive light change how this feels, can mix things. I try to keep it really very simple tutorial here. So we can basically uh, take advantage of these material node to change the feel and the look and materials and so on. So that's it guys, hope this tutorial was very useful for you as always. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. And thank you for watching.